My name is Bambi, and I'm a drug and alcohol counselor, and, and I work in a facility uh, for women. We treat alcoholism and drug addiction, and our primary purpose there is to teach the women about the disease of alcoholism. A long time ago, there was a lot of stigma to addiction and alcoholism. You know, that it was uh, a moral thing, it was a bad thing, it was a uh, weak character. Uh, you didn't have to be, you chose to be, and it's, that's not the case. We're born with this disease. My hope is to teach the women where I work is that those that have kids, they can break that cycle through education. You know, they're learning about the disease of alcoholism and addiction. In turn, by them learning this, they can teach their kids and let them know that there's another way, that they don't have to go down the same road. They don't have to be an addict or an alcoholic. The women come from all walks of life. They're some, a lot of them are sent there by Child Protective Services or a drug court. Sometimes they get intervened by the family and the family sends them there in prisons. So it doesn't matter how you get there and a lot of times you don't go there willingly, but hopefully while you're there you hear something. To me, the main issues that women have that are different from men is one, the shame and guilt over the children, sexual molestation, and male dependency. A lot of times what happens if, if the law enforcement happens to come because the mother or the father is using drugs in the home, that's considered uh, child endangerment. And a lot of women are charged with that and even sent to prison for it. When uh, they don't, in their eyes, they don't see they're doing anything wrong because they're using, but while they're using or abusing alcohol, they're neglecting their children. They're not feeding them properly. They're not going to school like they should, seeing a doctor like they should. And a lot of times even neighbors intervene and CPS gets involved. And consequently, that's how they end up in a treatment, drug and alcohol treatment facility. Nine out of ten women usually have had some type of sexual molestation in their, their lifetime, either as a child, not even as a child. They usually end up getting into abusive relationships, physically and emotionally. Uh, as, as a whole, women take a lot of emotional abuse, physical abuse. And it doesn't matter if it's physical, emotional, or mental. It's still abuse. The male dependency, uh, women become very dependent on men. They depend on their boyfriends, their husbands to fix them in every way possible. They depend on them to fix them and at the other end of the, the scope, they abuse them. So it's like a love and hate relationship. And that's because they, how I see it, they're unhealthy already. They're in their addiction, their, their self-esteem is low. These are the type of issues that I see working as a drug and alcohol counselor. They start working on their issues and they attend meetings in there and consequently over a period of time, because it doesn't happen overnight, they start changing their life and start thinking differently. They start making goals and the goals start happening. Women that come from prison, you know, they come to our treatment center. The issues that I see with those women is for the most part, They've done a lot of time, and their thing is uh